Breaking news, newest T-129 attack attack helicopter for Philippine Air Force has arrived today. Today is a game-changer for the Philippine Air Force as it welcomes the arrival of the latest addition to its arsenal, the T-129 attack attack helicopter. This state-of-the-art aircraft is set to revolutionize the Air Force's capabilities and bolster national defense. The T-129 attack attack helicopter is a force to be reckoned with. Designed with advanced technology and firepower, it has the ability to navigate through the most challenging terrains and carry out precision strikes with utmost precision. Equipped with guided missiles, rockets, and a powerful 20mm cannon, this formidable machine can neutralize any threat in its path. With its agile maneuverability and exceptional speed, the T-129 attack is a force multiplier on the battlefield, delivering swift and decisive action. Moreover, this cutting-edge helicopter has enhanced survivability features, including advanced armor protection, making it capable of withstanding hostile fire. The T-129 attack ensures the safety of its crew while maintaining unmatched performance. The arrival of the T-129 attack attack helicopter paves the way for increased air superiority for the Philippine Air Force. Its integration within existing forces will enhance mission effectiveness, provide crucial support to ground troops, and bolster defense capabilities in the region. This acquisition signifies the commitment of the Philippine Air Force to modernize its fleet and keep pace with global advancements in aerial warfare. The T-129 attack attack helicopter reaffirms the Air Force's dedication to securing the nation and maintaining peace in the region. Witness the power and precision of the T-129 attack attack helicopter as it takes flight, ready to protect and serve our nation. The skies above the Philippines will never be the same again. Thank you for watching this groundbreaking news. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest developments in the world of defense. Together, let us support the Philippine Air Force as they safeguard our nation's sovereignty. Welcome to our channel. In this breaking news video, we bring you the highly anticipated arrival of the latest T-129 ATAK attack helicopter for the Philippine Air Force. Witness the game-changing moment as this advanced military aircraft touches down today. The T-129 ATAK attack helicopter is a cutting-edge addition to the Philippine Air Force's fleet, equipped with state-of-the-art technology and weaponry. Its arrival signifies a significant upgrade in the country's defense capabilities, bolstering national security and ensuring the safety of our skies. Join us as we provide an exclusive coverage of this historic event, right from the first glimpse of the T-129 ATAK to the intricacies of its design and combat capabilities. Our expert analysts will delve into the helicopter's advanced features, including its navigation systems, firepower, and surveillance capabilities. We'll also highlight the strategic importance of the T-129 ATAK attack helicopter for the Philippine Air Force, shedding light on its potential impact on national defense strategies and regional stability. Stay tuned for fascinating insights and expert opinions on this game-changing addition to our military arsenal, don't miss out on this momentous occasion as the T-129 ATAK attack helicopter takes its place in the Philippine Air Force's formidable lineup. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates on the latest developments in defense technology, military operations, and global security. The Philippine Air Force, PAF, will accept into service two new Turkish-made T-129 ATAK attack helicopters and a Japanese air surveillance radar system, ASRS, on December 20th, Department of National Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro Jr. will grace the commissioning and blessing rites as guest of honor and speaker at the Wallace Air Station, San Fernando City, La Union. The Air Force said in an advisory Monday night, the two T-129 helicopters were delivered last November 30th and are part of the six. Helicopter contract from Turkish Aerospace Industries, it is part of Horizon 2 phase of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, modernization program with a contract worth 269 million US dollars, around PHP 14. 9 billion, signed on July 20, 2020, the T-129 helicopters are based on the Augusta Westland A-129 Mangusta design. The new assets will complement a pair of refurbished Bell AH-1S Huey Cobra attack helicopters from Jordan, along with armed light observation and transport helicopters in PAF's inventory. The first two T-129s were delivered last March 9, 2022 while the second batch of two were delivered in December of that year, these helicopters will be used for territorial defense, aerial, 
surveillance and reconnaissance, counterinsurgency combat operations and combat support operations. It can also be used for close air support, precision strike, deep strike, suppression of enemy air defense. Security slash urban warfare and air-to-air -air warfare, the T-129 is a twin-engine, tandem-seat, multi-role, all-weather attack helicopter and armed with a variety of guns, rockets, missiles, sensors and targeting systems. It has a cruising speed of 120 knots and a range of 250 nautical miles. The T-129 multi-role attack helicopter is being developed jointly by Augusta Westland and Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI, for the Turkish Land Forces Command, TLF, under the Attack and Tactical Reconnaissance Helicopter, ATAK, program. The helicopter is based on the AW-129 and its predecessor the A-129 Mangusta. In March 2007, the Turkish Armed Forces placed a $3 billion contract with Augusta Westland for 51, plus 41 optional, A-129 Mangusta helicopters to be assembled as the T-129 by TAI, the prime contractor for the ATAK program. The helicopter is based on the AW-129 and its predecessor the A-129 Mangusta. Aselsan supplies avionics and mission equipment, while Augusta Westland acts as a subcontractor to TAI. The helicopters will be delivered to Turkey in two different configurations, TUC-1 and TUC-2, T-129 attack helicopter development, the development of the T-129 commenced in July 2008. The System Requirements Review, SRR, and Preliminary Design Review, PDR, were completed in 2009, and the maiden flight of the T-129P1 prototype took place on September 28, 2009. On March 19, 2010, the prototype crashed during high-altitude hover tests near Verbania in northern Italy due to loss of power in its tail rotor. The first flight of the first Turkish prototype helicopter was completed at TAI's facilities in Ankara on August 17, 2011. In November 2010, Turkey placed a 150 million euro contract with Augusta Westland for nine T-129 attack helicopters. Bringing the total number of orders to 60, Azerbaijan, Jordan, Malaysia, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, South Korea and the United Arab Emirates have all expressed interest in the T-129 helicopter, T-129 design features, the T-129 features an aluminium alloy frame fitted to a five-bladed main rotor, a two-bladed tail rotor and wheeled landing gear. Designed to operate in hot conditions, the T-129 can be deployed in a wide range of operations including attack, reconnaissance and deterrent missions. Stealth features and significant weapon systems allow the T-129 to operate in complex battlefield environments and confined areas, and ballistic tolerance has been increased for high survivability. Capable of operating in day and night conditions, the helicopter is equipped with a laser rangefinder slash designator, night vision, helmet-mounted display system, and an emergency locator transmitter, ELT, dot, cockpit of the Turkish military helicopter, the digital cockpit of the T-129 incorporates two color multifunctional displays, MFD, keyboard display unit, avionic central control computer ACCC, dual, and a four-axis automatic flight control system, AFCS. It will accommodate two crew members. The cockpit will also integrate an aircraft and mission management system, AMS, weapon control units, WCU, flight data recorder, FDR, integrated INS-GPS, dual-slash-Doppler navigation and an air vehicle monitoring system, armaments and weaponry on the T-129 attack helicopter. The helicopter will have four hardpoints to carry a weaponry payload of 1,200 kg. Its stub-wing pylons can accommodate anti-tank guided missiles, ATGM, air-to-air -air missiles, ATOM, 70mm, 2.75 inches, rockets and 70mm, 2.75 inches, guided rockets, a 20mm turreted three-barrel gun system will be fitted on a nose turret. Optional armament includes 12.7mm gun pods, countermeasure technology, the defensive aid suite fitted on the T-129 will include active and passive countermeasure systems such as the countermeasure dispensing system, CMDS. A missile warning system, laser warning system, radio frequency jammer, 
radar warning receiver and infrared countermeasures, T129 engines, the T129 is powered by Tooltech T800-4A turboshaft engines. Each engine can develop a power output of 1014 kilowatts, the T800-4A is an export variant of the CTS-800 engine. It has a length of 0.85 m, a diameter of 0.56 m and weighs about 154 kg. The engines are equipped with the FADEC, Full Authority Digital Engine Control, system. FADEC reduces the workload of the pilot by controlling all aspects of the aircraft's engine performance. The T129 has a maximum cruise speed of 269 km per hour. The normal and ferry ranges of the helicopter are 561 km and 1000 km respectively, and it can climb at a rate of 14 meters per second. The service ceiling is 6096M, maximum.